Hey, what's going on, guys? So today we're talking about the best selling cards in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, let's just do cards. Let's just do cards. We've done boxes before. I might end up talking about sealed product. Let's just do cards right now. Um, Chaos Angels doing its thing. Better luck next time. Um, who's this for again? I just read it too. Oh, the Star Frost thing. That's a good time. Um, was this this expensive last week? <laughs> It wasn't, right? I didn't think so. I thought it was like, yeah, that was cheaper last week. I don't really math mech. It's always math mech. <laughs> it is a cybers. Um, can't summon itself out, though. So it has to summon out the um, defender. We talked about this last week. I don't want to go too deep into it last week. Um, I guess it's summon out phantom as well. But there's another, the guardian. That's what I was, I said defender. I meant guardian. Um, so buy those in packages. I don't think this is very good. I don't think Cybers is very good. If you need it, buy it. If you don't, I wouldn't. But as I always say, spend your money how you feel. Uh, if you want to buy 15 copies of Nadir Servant, because this card seems to always be um, relatively popular, especially in like rogue decks, you can. Um, wouldn't be surprised if it's randomly getting a reprint at some point soon. But the Rise of the Duels version, uh, for sure should still be able to hold its value uh, with relative ease, um, even though it was 20 bucks three months ago, and it is now double that. So, <laughs> that's pretty crazy. Um, so, this is probably a good buy, regardless of a reprint, um, just because Nadir's Servant's been very, very popular, right? Like, bad buy, good buy. Continuing on, um, no comment on the Pearly Archetype. Um, there it is again. Um, the Bestial card's making some progress. We talked about this card a little bit last week. Um, my thing is, it's a level 10. Level 10s are kind of weird. It's a generic level 10. Oh, it needs to be a dragon. Okay. It's not generic. Um, but Sword Soul could still make this, though. Yeah. That's interesting. I don't think that's the deck that's running this, though, right? Dragon Link, yeah, that does make sense. Super Heavies are making this card. That's interesting, but that does make sense as well. Um, I, hmm, I think that this is actually a good buy. Um, there's a lot of dragons you can get access to. Um, there are no dragon hand traps, so it's not like super duper generic. But the Bestials kind of are dragon hand traps. Um, and you know what this card can do. Um, you know, you know, destroying opponents, monsters, um, and negating activations, 3,500 attack, um, free special summon. Like there is a lot that this card does super duper well. Um, and it's low. It is really low. It came out a month ago. I mean, these are pre-sales obviously. At like 34, I could definitely see this card, not Nadir serving it, like being worth double in two months, but um, I could see this card definitely shooting up in price, uh, especially because like I said, Sword Soul can make it, um, It if you're running Bestials and Sword Soul, uh, obviously Dragon Link, obviously Super Heavy Samurais, and probably more. Um, 10 is a little awkward, you like to see like 8 um, or 7. But, you know, Baron de Fleur is one of the most popular cards um, in the game right now. And it's a level 10. Um, I thought I saw... Go, go, go. I thought I saw... Okay, no. I thought I saw something for like 30-something, but it's clearly just Japanese version. I just don't understand. Uh, can I filter over here on the left? I don't think so. I can't filter over here um, to get rid of that. That's fun. Um, but nonetheless, um, Bestial dis pattern i don't think we talked about it too much last week i think that's a decent buy more pearly stuff <laughs> now is the time to sell okay now is the time to sell i know it's a decent deck i know it's a good deck i'm not even gonna say it's decent i'm not even i'm not gonna give it the backhand comment i'm gonna say it's a good deck it uh dark world pearly that's a good time sprite pearly it did some cool things last week it's one of the best decks in the format Play it, get your invite, sell. 
Um, we're actually going to move on to the second page real quick. Gold Prize doing some interesting things too. I haven't really seen it topping though anywhere. Uh, Ballista. I should, you know, honestly, it, it's so hard to predict where this type of stuff's going to happen. But I should try to look for other cards that are like this. <laughs> like other cards that are 3 to $4.00 have a really randomly good effect, but not even like a good effect. It just searches Ancient Gearbox, and Ancient Gearbox has a good effect. Um, and it's, you know, it's an Earth Machine, uh, so it synergizes super well with Super Heavy Samurais. Um, it needs Earth Machine, so it's super, you know, super synergizes there as well. Um, there's just got to be more cards. It's so hard. It's like the lottery. Like, it, it's, 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 it's not hard if you're paying attention. I will say that. Um, but this card's value, I guess we did have time. We did kind of have time because I think we knew about the Super Heavy Samurai stuff for quite some time. And here comes Ballista. So I guess pay attention to the OCG. I guess I was wrong. Um, what's going on with this? You cannot pendulum summon some of the extra deck. This effect cannot be negated. Each player applies one of these effects based on the number. That's right. Mco40 was talking about this card. I knew I recognized this card. Um, Mco40 was talking about this card. Um, if either player sets a spell and trap on your field, uh, you can place this card in your pendulum zone. That's its monster effect. Uh, and then based on the number of set cards in the spell and trap zone, if there are zero, all monsters they control cannot attack. If there are four or more, all monsters they control become double the original attack super heavy samurai because of the way the deck functions can't really run back row and by can't really i mean does not does not run back row sky striker trick star one second what that's crazy uh so this card's done this before this card has definitely randomly done this before and this is another one that doesn't have a printing uh please please don't fomo it's only good against Super Heavy Samurai. I guess it's okay. It's not actually it's not actually okay against anything else. So um, it's relatively searchable. A lot of things search a Performer Pal card. Uh, a lot of things search a Pendulum Monster. Um, and you don't even need to search it because it's so good. Um, because it shuts down monster effects against Super Heavy Samurai, which is all that the deck is and never has been. But... I wouldn't spend $9 on a side deck card against a deck that I don't know if Super Heavy Samurai is that great. Like, I know Super Heavy Samurai was getting some tops last weekend and this weekend, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not sold on side deck cards for potentially tier 1.5 decks. If it was the best deck in the format, like when Token Collector was really big, that was one thing, but... Token Collector also hit the Adventure package. Like, this literally only hit Super Heavy Samurai. Um, but if you want to go crazy, don't let me stop you. Um, what is... Okay, I said we weren't going to talk about Sealed Product. But is this just like... Is the is this Structure Deck just cost what Imperm is? Okay, so it's like $5 more than what Imperm is. That's crazy. I hope you guys picked up as many of those copies as you could. Um, and continue to do so. I always... Yeah, I always say structure decks are great buys. I know structure decks have gotten a little more expensive, at least from where I'm at. I live in Michigan. Um, you know, they used to be as flat ten, right? And and I remember a lot of people still do that. They're like, for thirty dollars, build a really good Yu-Gi-Oh deck. It's like it's not, but it's not thirty dollars. It's forty dollars because it's thirteen. Thirteen times three is thirty-nine. So why are you rounding down to thirty when you're taking off nine dollars before tax? Um, but I still think at forty dollars for three um, over here, the structure decks are still insane value. They give so many great reprints. We already see what evenly matches done. I still see a lot of the trap tricks uh, structure deck wandering around. I would pick up more copies. Um, but the cyber strike structure deck, it's not that old, and imperm is eleven dollars evenly. Will probably end up being there as soon as well. Shout out to Santa Claus. We knew Santa Claus was gonna be kind of big. Um, because it's really good against Pearly. Uh, it's really good against Pearly in the mirror, but it's really good against Pearly in general um, because you can, because Pearly can gain advantage really quickly um, with their set spells and traps. 
so you can give your opponent the Santa Claus in defense position. I think we talked about it on this show or, or on this channel already. Um, I do think it's a bit of FOMO. I don't think you necessarily speaking need Santa Claus. I think a Kaiju still works just as fine. Um, obviously, it's a little awkward um, because Gamma Seal is the lowest attack Kaiju and it's 2200. Um, and Kaijus have to be summoned in attack position, which is the whole point of like kind of their uh, restriction that way. So they couldn't be used the way they are constantly used. Um, but it is what it is. So if you think you need it, get it. I would be selling my Santa Clauses though if I had them. I don't think it's that great. Uh, Soul Peacemaker at seven dollars is crazy. <laughs> um, heavily played at seven. Um, but we knew about this super heavy samurai it's no secret that the deck is good um right it's been about a month uh since we've seen this and you know honestly this brings up a very interesting point of like even this because there was a spirit card i think that just came out or got announced something to that effect um recently and um it's pretty decent and so now then we can get back up to the top boom right this is another card that three months ago or even a month ago was two dollars and is now ten dollars so start playing that game what archetype feels like it could randomly get good right the gusto archetype right um gusto does some interesting things maybe it's gusto i don't know anything i'm just literally listing archetypes that come to my mind um fire king i uh, you know it's gonna bring up fire king i love fire kings i really really hope fire king randomly becomes meta uh my other really favorite archetype battery man i love this archetype would love to see it become super popular um then there's something to remind to remember with this right this archetype did just get some support and it really didn't impact it that hard um like you know from photon hypernova still the best selling gishki cards are the older gishki cards because it's not that great of a deck so not only do you have to find an older deck and we'll just keep doing this um not only do you have to find an older deck like heraldic beast um but you also have to find an archetype that um is going to get some support um like gaga -ga -ga, right um yuma the guy from zexel ran this deck i don't remember his name i know i know his the actual duelist was astral i remember that but i don't remember his name um it, even like this like um like the rose dragon stuff that came out a few years back made it pretty decent uh made black rose dragon stuff really good right um i'm literally just listing um names from the show at this point uh volcanics just got some support and uh, now we see what um is going on with volcanics right uh scattershot's still only 65 cents ulti shells are almost 70 now um all versions of volcanic rocket are probably about to be over five dollars soon um so point that i'm trying to make with all this we'll do one more just for safekeeping um i'll do like a pendulum arrow one but i can't really think of honestly what's this at oh no did i do the wrong i did the right thing okay i don't know why i don't i don't want to see the dd stuff i want to see the ddd stuff um Honestly, though, DDD, if, let me do this, let's do this, because DD Crow's probably going to be really high, so it's Assailant, goodness gracious, and Warrior, and Lord of D, what did I search, okay, <laughs> um, Oblivion King, so DDD could be interesting as well, um, or like anything, like, and that's, that's the tricky part, right, we don't know. Unless you work at Konami, we don't know what archetype is going to get like a random amount of fantastic support that's all of a sudden going to make it like tier one or even like tier zero.
fantastic. I mean, Konami's clearly still printing archetypes like Pearly um, and Kashtira, right? Those are still newer archetypes, but also Konami is doing a lot of legacy support and could be any of the archetypes I mentioned, could be the Hydro Gedon stuff, could be Cyber Angel, could be Cyber Dark, could be none of those things, could be Nordic, I don't know, um, but it's clearly a trend, and if we want to get ahead of the trend, we gotta, you gotta take risks, you gotta, you gotta go crazy, like, if you want to, um, find the next, I don't think there's really any on this page, if you want to find the next Ancient Gear Ballista, you know, um, you have to see what support's coming out. And maybe, too, you know, that's where you pay attention to the OCG. And you're like, oh, the OCG is running a lot of super heavy samurai stuff. Um, maybe I should pick up random cards that would work well with super heavy samurai stuff. Right? Or they just announced some super heavy samurai stuff. Let me pick up everything ever. And there are certain cards that aren't really that expensive that get ran by super heavy samurai but this stuff three months ago this was a dollar and now it's six so you know you gotta you know scared money don't make no money as they say um and you know this this card too so basically that's that was kind of the main point that i was trying to say with all of that that like Konami has consistently been doing this now where they'll reprint older archetypes so just follow it on Twitter check it out on Reddit you know always be randomly good because there's a lot of money that can be made it's not just about what you know knowing what the new support is and what it does it's really more about the potential for an insane amount of money because if you bought um the soul peacemakers um or even i bet you we can find another example on this page if you bought super heavy samurai scales uh, or this version of it a month ago or even maybe a, probably not a month ago but two months ago um back in may when it was two dollars you bought 50 at two dollars and now you're selling all of them at five dollars you made a three dollar profit on on 50 which is 150 dollars and that's that's why we check it that's why we do market watches that's why we do all of those things but as i always say like i can only do so much like i i and that's why i always ask you guys what do you guys think of this and you guys you guys are so great too because you guys always comment this card or this card or this card or this card or what do you think about this card and what do you think about that card and that's the type of discussion that i would like to see in the in the comment section because that's how we all make money. Like those are, you know, comics are public. That's how we all make a lot of money. And Konami is not like Konami is predictable. And it's clear that people like when Konami makes super heavy samurai randomly really good. Or um, when when Konami, you know, talked about the Gishki support or the or the um what it just made gate guardian right randomly got a whole bunch of support people like that so they're gonna do some more of it right but let me know what you guys think what are the best cards that you were looking for let me know in the comments down below make sure you guys click that like button show your support for the channel subscribe for more content but most importantly of all have a good day